In this video, we want to look at ellipse. This is the sketch of an ellipse, or this way. Here we have a major axis that goes through this way, and from here is called to be. And we also have a minor axis, and here is negative a negative a. so from here to here is 2a on this side still here becomes the minor axis and here is the major axis at the point of maximum turn is called the vertex so here to here 2a and here still to be we have a standard form of ellipse the equation x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equals one and it has a general form of x minus h all squared over a squared plus y minus k all squared over b squared so this is the general form this is the standard form this equation shows that it starts from the origin and whenever it starts from the origin we have some formulas for it where if we're asked to calculate the vertex or the center or the full side but we need to note that whenever it goes through the origin the center is zero comma zero because the general formula for center is C comma H K that's H and K so whenever it goes through origin it becomes center is zero so whenever it doesn't go through origin this we now compare this with any question or equation given to us so sometimes the value of A can be greater than the value of B so which means it will give us a horizontal ellipse when b is greater it will give us a vertical ellipse because of that we have formulas for them this is to calculate vertices when it is through origin when a is greater through origin when b is greater but when it doesn't go through origin then that is is given by k comma h plus or minus a when b is greater h comma k plus or minus b to calculate the foci, the foci is the reference points through which the, or what makes it easier for us to draw the ellipse. So the foci, that's the uh, plural of focal. So when it goes through origin, this is how to calculate it, it's the same. And when it doesn't go through origin, we have k, comma h plus or minus r. When b is greater, we have h, comma k plus or minus r. This R can be calculated by saying R squared is equal to, if A is greater, it becomes A squared minus B squared. But if B is greater, it becomes B squared minus A squared. For example, this question says, given the ellipse below, identify the coordinates of the vertices and foci. Now, this is the ellipse equation given to us. Now, we, if we compare this with the general form of ellipse which says x minus h all squared over a squared plus y minus k all squared over b squared if we compare that you notice that there's no h here there's no k here so which means this already goes through the origin and because of that the center is zero zero because it passes through the origin. And you can see a squared, b squared. Here, b squared is greater than a squared. So we can say b squared is 16. And if b squared is 16, it means that b alone is square root of 16, which is 4. You can see a squared is 9. And if a squared is 9, that means that a alone is square root of 9, which is 3. And if we've gotten that, we can also find out the value of r. r squared is equal to b squared minus a squared, which is b squared is 16. So 16 minus a squared 9, So which is going to give us 7 
what it means is that r squared equals 7. Because of that, r alone is plus or minus square root of 7. So for us to calculate the vertex, when b is greater, is given as plus or minus b, comma 0. Or you say 0, comma, plus or minus b. So having that, our b is already 4. So since our b is 4, we say v plus or minus 4, comma, 0. Or we can begin with 0, comma, plus or minus 4. So that's our vertex. To calculate the foci, foci is given as 0, comma, plus or minus r. And our r, remember our r is plus or minus root 7. So we have f, 0, plus or minus root 7. That's how to calculate it. In case we are asked to graph it, all we need to do is to put it in a graph and put some coordinates. This is just a rough sketch. So here now we have, so since it crosses through the origin, our B is four. So we count one, two, three, four. And we'll put it positive four. And then our, we count here four, which is here. Our A is three. We count one, two, three. Remember this is just a sketch, three. And just, we just, This is how the ellipse will look like. So to locate the foci, the foci is plus or minus square root of 7. So square root of 7, actually, if you press in the calculator, it will give you about 2.6 there about. So this is 2. 0.6 should be around here. So this is F. Negative side, 2.6. So these are the foci. So these are the foci. So this question says, given the ellipse 25 x squared plus 9 y squared minus 100 x plus 54 y minus 44 is equal to 0, obtain its center, vertices, and foci. Now, we need to first of all make it look like, or we have to convert it to look like the equation of ellipse. So I'm going to pause the video to, so let's just, we have a 25x squared, sorry, 25x squared minus 100x. Then we have to fix before we put plus 9y squared plus 54y, then equals 44. 44 coming to the other side becomes positive, equals 44. So that we can have 25x, I have to pause it because of time. So, so using completing the square method, this is what we have. We have to factor this into this, factor this into this, 44. And then we have to complete the square on this side. Then finally, this is what we have. And for us to make it look like the ellipse equation, we need to have one over here. So for us to have one over here, we we'll divide all through by 225. So we we'll have 225, sorry, 25 into x minus 2 squared over 225 plus 9 into y plus 3 r squared over 225 is equal to 225 over 225. So on this side, 25 into here will give us 9. Then 9 into 25 will still give us back 25. And here is 1. So if we can compare it with x minus 2, uh, sorry, x minus h r squared over a squared over a squared, then y minus k r squared over b squared equals 1. If we compare two of them, we'll notice that our b squared is greater than a squared. Our b squared is 25. Because of that, our b is 5. So that's square root of 25, 5. Our a is 9. Our a squared is 9. And because of that, our a is 3. Square root of 9. That is 3. 
and then our arrow squared is b minus b squared minus a squared which is uh, 25 minus 9 which gives us uh, 16 and r alone is square root of 16 which is 4 so the first thing we want to get is the center and center is given by hk if we compare the equation if we compare the equation the equation h there is k the h is the h there is minus 2 so minus 2 here this uh, plus 2 it will be because minus is in the formula so minus minus gives you plus so we we'll have that our h is 2 and then our k is 3 so minus in the formula minus in the formula will be minus 3 so minus 3 so this becomes the center so for the vertex remember vertex b here b is greater than a so we're going to use the formula that says h comma k plus or minus b and that will give us our h already is 2 so we bring it 2 comma our k is minus 3 plus or minus b our b is 5 so that gives us v into 2 comma minus 3 minus 5 gives us minus 8 comma 2 minus 3 plus 5 is going to give us negative 2 no positive 2 yeah positive 2 so the third one is the full side now because b is greater we're going to use that the full side h comma k plus or minus r so our h as usual is 2 comma our k is minus 3 plus or minus our r we got it to be 4 so 4 so we have that our full side is 2 comma minus 3 plus 4 gives you 1 positive 1 so f2 so we can call this f1 call this f2 we can call this v1 call this v2 so we have that our f2 becomes 2 comma since we have done plus we can now do minus minus 3 minus 4 gives us minus 7 so that's the full side this question says determine the area and the eccentricity of the ellipse whose minor axis is of length 4 and major axis length 6 so if you want to get the area now from the question we're given that the major axis that the major axis is 6 so and remember major axis is given by 2b minor minor axis is 4 and minor is given by 2a so if 6 equals 2b therefore b is 6 over 2 which is 3 on here if 4 equals 2a therefore a equals 4 over 2 which is 2 and remember that the area of an ellipse is given as pi times a times b which is pi our a is 2 times 2 times our b is 3 3 so this is 6 pi so our area of that ellipse is 6 pi for us to get the eccentricity eccentricity e is given as r divided by b the major axis so for us to get our r r squared is equal to we'll now check which one is bigger b is bigger than a so it becomes b squared minus a squared r squared is now equal to square root of r alone sorry is square root of b squared our b our b is 3 3 squared minus our a is 2 2 squared so our r equals 
our r equals square root of 9 minus 2 uh, minus 4 which means our r equals root 5 what it means is that our eccentricity is root 5 over our uh, b our b is 3 so that's the eccentricity do well like my videos and subscribe if you have not subscribed thank you very much